you're anything like us, you end up on multiple computing devices in any given day, whether it's your phone or a tablet, Windows machine, Mac, uh, Chromebook, whatever the case may be, a lot of times we move between different devices. And the harsh reality is a lot of times you go to pick up whatever device it is and you've been working on another one and the file you need to work on, the file you need to manipulate, just isn't there. And fortunately for Chromebook users, there is a way to avoid this pain point altogether. And for this Chromebook Tip Tuesday, we wanna show you how to do it. Today's Chromebook Tip Tuesday is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of users because they are excellent at what they do, and that is keeping your browsing safe and secure when you're at home or on the go. If you'd like to learn more about them, go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN. First up, it needs to be stated that you can do some of this in the same way for Windows or Mac devices, because what we're gonna talk about is actually a Chrome setting. The difference here is at the end, whenever you're actually using it, Mac and Windows devices don't quite interact with your files in Google Drive the same way a Chromebook would. There is file stream that you can use on those and we'll talk about that in a further tutorial, but if you're using file stream, a lot of this stuff will translate the same way it would for a Chromebook. But in general, what we need to talk through is the Chrome setting that's gonna get you set up to using your downloads folders in Google Drive the way that you would as if you were downloading them straight to your device. So first things first, you need to go to Google Drive either again in your file browser or in file stream or straight up just on the internet, go there and create a downloads folder. What I would recommend doing is placing either an asterisk before it or placing an underscore or a dash or something like that. What that's gonna do is anytime you sort things by name, it'll put it right at the top. So every time you go to download, it's easy to find that file. So once you've done that, once you've created that downloads folder, you can call it downloads, you can call it cloud downloads or whatever it is you wanna call it, it doesn't really matter. As long as you know what you're using and you know what you're working with, you'll be in good shape here. Create that folder and now you're ready to set up the other setting in Chrome that allows this to happen automatically. In order in order to do that, you're going to want to go to your Chrome settings. So open up a Chrome tab and hit the three dot menu. For Chrome OS users, this is important because whenever it is you're watching this video, it's highly likely that they've split the settings. So you have Chrome OS settings and you have Chrome browser settings. We need to be in the Chrome browser settings. So you need to open up a Chrome window, hit your three dot button, go to your settings. On the left side under advanced, you're going to find a section that says downloads. And in that section, there is a spot where it says, choose the folder that you will use for your downloads. This is all pretty straightforward at this point. Click the button, choose the file that you just created, whatever again, whatever it is you've called it, you're gonna choose that file. And now what Chrome is going to do, anytime you download a file from anywhere, it is always going to put it in that folder. And so the next time you download some stuff and you're working on a few things and then you go and hit the road and you open up another Chromebook or you open up your Windows device, or you open up your Mac, and you need that file, well guess what? You didn't have to remember to actually go download and then re-upload those to a, a file management system somewhere. They're already saved in Google Drive and they're accessible wherever it is you are because that's the magic of the cloud. So in general, we just hope this helps you make that decision to make that step and change the setting on your Chromebook so that you don't run into that same kind of problem in the future. And oh, by the way, if you want to change some channels like we talked about in last week's Chromebook Tip Tuesday, you can feel free to do so and not really have to worry about whether you clear local storage or not once you go back to the stable channel because everything's gonna be set up and ready to go as soon as you sign in. And that's just the benefit of Chrome OS, it's the benefit of Google Drive, and it's the benefit of cloud computing in general. But guys, that's it for this one. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and make sure and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.